what's up YouTube, it's Dominic from Payday Pickups and I'm back with another video and today I am back in New York. I'm doing a very different style of video today. I'm gonna to be styling with my friends, a girl, her name is Kayla. <laughs> there she is, that's Kayla. You'll see her on her Instagram, her name is Kaylisi. She was also in my Toronto vlog. Blueberry, Burberry, but no. Yeah, yeah. Blueberry, Burberry, but no. Tan skin, mixed race, but a cup. Canada weather, got a bundle up. I'm trying to work, she hit my phone, she wanna. Whoa. All her Instagrams, her all social medias will be in the description box below, so be sure to go check her out. <laughs> So today I'm taking her to Brooklyn. I'm taking her to the store Beacon's Closet. It's probably my favorite thrift store in the whole of America I've ever been to. I know some of you say it's not a thrift store, but it's like hand-selected kind of vintage stuff that people hand in. You can get designer stuff for really cheap, a load of other stuff. So right now I'm gonna head inside Beacon's Closet. I'm gonna give myself an hour to make this a lot harder. I got to put together a full fit. There's no specific budget. If you'd like me to do more of these videos, leave them in the comment section down below and set me a budget and set me a store and I'll see what I can do. But anyways, let's get into it. I'm putting together an outfit, I usually start with the pants because usually in a thrift store there's usually the less amount of pants and usually they're quite hard to find so if you find like a good top it's hard to find the pants to match it so I thought I'd always start with the pants these ones are quite sick, these checkerboard ones the rest are kind of similar, I kind of want to get her out of her comfort zone and add some colour to the outfit I just found this denim, it's got like a three split we've got the red and then we've got the navy and we've got the grey pretty cool, I like the colours, so I'm going to hold on to these just found these leather pants for Kayla. They've just got a load of like the five zippers right there and the zippers at the bottom, so we're gonna hold on to these. Summertime now, so these are pretty sick. They're like beige shorts with the green contrast stitching. Actually pretty sick, I might hold on to these too. Just found these pretty cool Adidas kind of like cargo track pants. Got the open leg at the bottom with the three stripes. So they'd sit well on like a pair of boots. Found these, not really the color, a bit too bright. Look a bit like men's. The thing with these, I love these. I'm gonna hold on to them, but I wanna add some more color to the outfit. It's like pattern pants, kind of something like you wear in Thailand on holiday. Thin material, but proper summery and spring vibes. I'm gonna hold on to these as well. These are kind of found. They're just a plain pair of white kind of track pants. They've got the nice cuffing at the bottom. Could go well with like an all white fit, but I think these are a bit safe. But I'm gonna hold on to them because they're only $12 too. We just found these black IMG cargo pants with the black and the red hits. Looks so sick with a nice cuffing at the bottom. They're still brand new, they're going for $35, but I think they're worth like 100 IMG and they're still new with the tags. Actually quite a sick, it's like a NASCAR kind of anorak slash fleece. It would match perfectly with the red and black pants, but I think it's a bit too boy for her and there's no back print either, but it's a pretty sick piece. A sick leather vintage guest bar city jacket in the cream. That's actually so nice, it's actually a size. Actually my size, I actually really like this piece. Just found this sick Alexander Wang crop bomber jacket with a load of buttons. <laughs> sick piece. So right now I'm trying to find like a black vintage tee with some red hits to kind of match the pants and go with the jacket. This t-shirt's actually sick, it looked really good cropped as well. Looking through the vintage tees, just found this sick 1992 kind of Budweiser Ford race car tee. It's got a load of sick colours, got like the purples, the reds, the blues. We'll go sick with the top and it'll look really good underlaying <laughs> over the bomber jacket. It's really oversized, I'm just gonna get her to tuck it in. And it's got the sick, like, kind of details on the sleeves. Crazy selection of shoes from boots to heels to trainers, pretty much got everything. So I'm gonna have to decide. I'm looking for kind of either a trainer or a boot. found these like, I think they're custom Nike blazers, they got like a lilac, a baby blue, dark blue and like a lilac again, and a suede upper. Pretty sick actually, but they're not Kayla's size. I meant to be searching for Kayla, but I just came across these. These are the Bait Puma displays from ages ago in the black colorway. I'm gonna hold on to the UK7 and they're only asking for $30. In the back corner of Beacon's Closet, they've got like the higher designer shoes and I just found these. These are Naked Wolf high boots. We've got the Naked Wolf all the way down the back seam. The Wolf logo right here. And these are going for, if it focuses, 
$50, but these usually retail for I think, I think they're around $200, naked wool, kind of like a Doc Martens of the platform. I think the black and red pants will sit on these perfectly. So we've got the black and red pants, I'm going to look in the men's section for a flannel, I think it'll look good tied around the waist, kind of like the Chris Brown loyal vibes, like a red and black checker one would be perfect. Something kind of similar to this, but without the yellows. I'm the accessories and I found this Prada bag. Unfortunately, it's not real because it's going for $19, but quality of it looks pretty nice. I might just give it for the fit. And I found this kind of like vintage kind of like phone hard holder. It'll be a little accessory to wear in the middle. There's a full selection of hats. I'm kind of looking for like a bucket hat or like a dad cap, but not really a snapback vibe. Kind of, kind of like the hat she's kind of wearing now. It's kind of like something like this. Quite like that, like the kind of like the jewels right there, and that'd go with the red. But I mean, I'd have to add some, incorporate some blue to it, but I kind of don't like that. It says peasant. I actually, really like this clean, just white BMW cap. So if I find some shoes that are white and match with it perfectly, I'm gonna hold on to this too. As an accessory, I'm thinking of getting like a kind of like a red or a black kind of scarf to wear around her neck tie it around her neck and kind of like a bandana style. It'll match perfectly with the pants and it'll kind of break up the black to the top of the outfit. Taylor's just found these sick shades, look at these. Just an absolute block. <laughs> to complete the fit you need some sunglasses, some extra accessories. I'm trying to go for like either a red or black to match the whole fit. These are a bit too big, I kind of want to get like the smaller ones. I've seen these ones are red but I don't like the sparkly. I like the shape of these black ones here, it's like kind of like a rectangle. But I think these are definitely the ones, like the cat eye ones, the nice like gold plate at the bottom. I'll probably give her my chain to add onto the fit and match the jewellery. Pairing up the white boots, the black and red pants sit perfectly, the bomber jacket and then the vintage tee. I've been feeling free lately, I've been balling on beats on the instructor And I got a lesson to teach, used to be in class, hood up Ain't nobody calling on me then, my mind was on one prize That's why I was grinding to the sunrise, uh. I was grinding to the sunrise, uh. If I ain't been seen recently, it's been me and Tay Locked up in the studio every day, and they say Good shit comes in one's away, so we don't take no breaks, no We don't take no breaks, no, no I've been going in with it, going in You ain't never seen nothing like this Finally on the come up, like I've been hiding, hiding Going in with it, going in You ain't never seen nothing like this Finally on the come up, like I've been hiding, hiding we can begin this party on the weekend I've been on my own, laying low like the weak man I keep spitting flow so cold, I've been freezing And she know that I'ma be freaking When she come over, we sipping so rock, we not sober She looking for closure, no cap, I've been leaving it open Keeping a low profile, I've been zoned in yeah. Lately, I've been hiding away Ain't been smoking, bust the feeling high in a way Lyrics floating, I know y'all be riding away And I ain't taking your place, but I'ma tell that girl to go Take it down, take it down with it, uh Spin around, spin around with it, ayy Take it down, take it down with it, oh Spin around, spin around, Ooh. The full fit, we got the red shades We got the vintage, like, Ford NASCAR t-shirt We got the Alexander Wang crop bomber So beautiful, the details We got the, I mean, it's a bootleg Prada bag that goes perfectly We got the IMG, a cargo pants, the black and red And then we got the Naked Wolf big boots there Gives it a bit more height that is sick. That's sick. So I'm back at my place in Philadelphia now. Unfortunately, I couldn't film a proper outro due to the weather conditions in New York. It was literally tipping it down and I probably would have broken my camera. I hope you lot enjoyed that styling type video. It's something new that I definitely want to incorporate on my channel. I really enjoyed it and I think I did pretty well for Kayla's outfit. A few things I would have added are some more accessories, so maybe like a choker chain, or maybe a jean chain or a cargo pant chain. Something to add some extra details to the fit. And a huge thank you to Kayla for getting involved with this video. She's always down to create content and she's also LA and New York based. So if any brands, photographers, YouTubers, any content creators, be sure to get in contact with her. She's always down to collab. And I'll leave her Instagram in the description box below. She has some fire 
photos, so be sure to go check her out. And I actually haven't addressed this yet, but I want to say a huge thank you to everyone. We hit 40,000 subscribers on the channel. It's honestly insane, like 40,000 of you. I honestly can't thank you all enough. It means the world to me. On to the next milestone of 50K, and eventually we want to hit that 100K. I'll be doing a giveaway at 40K. I'm trying to work out what would be best to give away for you lot. Leave any suggestions in the comment section down below. And if you enjoyed this video, then please make sure to give it a thumbs up and also hit that subscribe button as well as that notification bell so you'll be notified every single time I upload a video. If you like this style of video, then be sure to hit that poll and vote for yes. And if you didn't like this style of video, then vote for no. Let me know some other styling suggestions. I want to try and do like a style of my brother when I get back to England or even like style of a friend or even funnier style in my mum in streetwear. I think that would be amazing. And also if you're new to my channel and you haven't seen it already, I've done a load of vlogs in LA. I'll roll a clip right now. My life moving so fast. Now I'm thinking about my forecast. Cause if I'm first, I'm really last. And I do the whole dash for the new cash. With a new bitch, got a fat ass. And she's so bad. And I saw facts. Now they all mad. Cause I had to brag. Yeah. Had to go hit me a leg. Yeah, I ran up a check. Now it's on the back. Easy just watching my moves. So I fucked on that bitch at the right in the past. I had to go hop in the field with my brothers. You know we cannot have a lack. No, I'm just spitting the facts. Little mama. So be sure to check out all my LA vlogs and I will see you lot in the next one.